they all do it. So what we're getting up to in this video, fitting the giant spider with the coils and the thermostat. Oh my God, fitting the nice new shiny water pump. Finally topping up the cooling system. So let's get on with it. Right then, so we've painted the bracket up, clean the thermostat up best we can. So I believe we've got to put this together first. It is a bit of a Rubik's Cube, I have to get it back together. I think it must be that way. No, we're upside down. That's what the problem is. So that goes that way. That's it. A little 10mm bolt in there. Well, 6mm for it. It's not even a 10mm bolt because it's an Allen key. Yeah, and there's one at the bottom, so that means so that is why I'm actually putting this in now because if I put that into the frame, I'm not going to get that bolt in. Here's the bolt in. Make sure we're all sitting correctly. Okay, then, so this lives in there. And if you see what I mean, these water pipes go right into the frame there, so there's no way we're going to get the pipes on. So we're going to have to put those on. We're going to have to put those pipes on first and then try and feed them through. I do. Can't see, can you? Try and feed them through the frame onto the radiator. I will actually put a bit of rubber grease on them. Right, then we can push that onto there. Then we need the uh, clip, it's one of those springy clips. Okay, let's try and get you in shot where I've got to stand. I can't tell if it's dark or light, I need some bloody... I need some new eyes. So if we take that round to there, drop it onto there, and then we're going to do the next one. Uh, one end had a Jubilee clip, and the other end had that uh, springy clip, and you can tell that's the springy clip from the shape it's left. Get some scissors and cut these silly bits of rope off. Clip on. Here's my pliers. I should be able to shoot that onto there. Apply it on there. Lift it over. Yeah, make sure you go over the nuttle. Because so when you start the bike up, if these leak, God, they're going to be a hell of a nightmare to get to. Okay, so let's try and get that onto the bike. Okay, I'll come round this side. I've got all these wires secured. These are still loose because we want to work round this. Let's stick that in there. Or shall I stick that in there first? Then we've got to push that one through there. That one through there. as you think. There we go. Could have to unplug that wire because you can't get it through. That goes on there. I'm sure there's no wires trapped underneath it. You said that should go there like that. And then this one just there, I've made a bracket there, because that's where the fuse box is going to live. I've got to be careful with these wires coming out. It's there for the indicators and the horn. Let's find some Jubilee clips. Okay, so I've got to do this one first. I'm going to put the circlip with that on the inside. 
because I've got to put this fairing bit on here, what I made, if you remember. If I stick that up there, push that onto there, Let's loosely pinch this up. Okay, then we can spin it round to the back. that up. Well, that's that one. Did the same with this one. Uh, put the circle clip so it's going to the back. Push that onto there. Push that up again. To wherever the nut up. Should do it. that's that. Okay so this is the fuse box. I'm going to use that fix in there for this side. Just line the uh, bracket up. That's got it. But that's got to go under there. But that's got to go under there. And that just goes over there. Okay, I did forget to paint that bracket, I've just painted it. Tighten that one up. We can tighten this one up. There's one more bolt here, one more bolt there, so I'll do those two before I tighten that one completely up. Okay, so we put our little spacer thing in there. Line the bolts up. That's that one. Yep, then there's another one just there. Okay, then we could do the last one just there. Okay, so we could lock those down now. Yeah, lock the one down at the top. There we go. And finally the one on the fuse box. There we go. Did I not forget the uh, filler cap, had we? Okay, then we can roll our bit of canvas over. That's all that was on it before, so that's all I've got. I could just put a zip tie around that to keep it in place and then if we have any problems, just cut the zip tie off. There we are. All nice and neat. Okay, so now we can install our left coil pack. It's all a bit tight. Okay then, let's see if we could line the holes up. That's that one. Try this one. Nice and tight. Same with the other one. There we go. I can work out where I'm going to put some of these plugs. So anyway, let's do this side. Let's do this side. Plunk that on there. That through there. That through there like that. Now you have to persevere with me with this video because I'm using a different camera. And it's taken a bit of getting used to. So that's that. And if you want to comment at the end, you could tell me uh, what the new camera's like and the new sound. 
So that's that. Uh, I think I'm going to give this a blow job now with the air compressor. Okay then, so let's sort these wires out. So that obviously went. Oh, see, can you? Did this little frame work? Where are we? So if we push that through there in the bottom, let's push that. there like that. That's that one. What else we got? Uh, yes we've got these which will go over to this side. And I think that one should we go underneath or around right the back if we can. Okay, so I think the longest one must have gone on this side. Stick that one on that side. Must have gone onto the uh, temperature switch. What goes into that one? There's something else hiding. That's the switch gear. I think that's it now, it's just all the switch gears to do. So we could uh, push number three into number three. Push number four into number four. Uh, I had a bit of a problem with that one, so I had to uh, sort of modify it a bit. That is, I think that's number two. If that's number one, yeah, that's number one. So this must be number two. That's number one. There we go, that's that. Okay, so I've done the pipes. Cleaned one, I'll just show you how I cleaned it. Bit of WD 40. squirt a bit of wire on cloth feed the wire through put it through So I've got all the wiring nice and tidy. Can't remember which way these pipes went on, but I'm thinking it's that way. I do it that way. It looks a bit too, I don't know. Looks less clumsier this way, so I'll put it on this way. And if we're wrong, we're wrong. Let's push that on there. clip on. Tighten this one up. Should do fine. The other one goes on these chrome pipes at the bottom. You can see down there. And the other end goes on this chrome pipe down the bottom. Pull our circle clip down. There then. I think I best put that around the back here. 
because I don't want that to interfere with the carburetors. I don't want it to interfere with the petrol tank. So pull that off again. Turn the circlip over. Push the pipe back on. But I'll take this one all the way around the front. Pinch it up a bit. You can't see much with my hand in the way. It's just try it there. Hopefully it's in a good place. Just try it there, Johnny. Waffling on. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, so the next pipe lives under this. So we'll just take this off again. Come on, you know you're in the way. Move! Yeah, if we stick that on uh, there. No. There, like that. left of the old, well one of the old water pumps, they're both snapped in the same place. Uh, this pipe is going to go on the new water pump at this end, but the other end will go where I'll show you now. Okay, so you can just about see it sticking out there, the little chrome pipe. That's where I've got to put that pipe on too. Right then, so here's our water pump. So we've got to make sure this little groove has got to slot onto that little tab. So make sure you don't miss it. Well, I don't suppose you can get it on unless you hit it correctly. Right, let's see what happens. Okay, we might be able to focus a bit here, but I've turned the slot so it's just about ready with the uh, tab. So hopefully I can fit that onto there. Got it. Oh, look, that looks sexy on there. So that's that. We've got two bolts one's a long bolt, one's a short bolt. The long bolt goes at the top. Sure, they're lined up properly. There we go. And I got the pipe through. I did that off camera because it was a bit tricky, but it turned out it wasn't so tricky. Uh, there's one at the bottom which is so long. you out a bit. There we go. I think you can see me now. Pinch it up. 
hear your bones crack in your wrist at the same time. Here we go. That's that, and then we've got to try and get that pipe onto there. So there's two more pipes to do. There's this one just here, and that one just there. Now let's do the uh, bottom one first. Push that onto there. Push it past the knuckle. You've got to get the clip up there. Don't think I've really got the clip the right way round, have I? Try it that way. Yeah, that's better. We can get to it now. We just take the slack up on the clip. And make sure it sits in its original indentation. Home. Yes! And that's that one. Now let's try and get this baby on. Uh, don't think it back to which way it goes round because it's just like a small S shape. So let's put our clips on first. Uh, shall we push it on the top first? Oh, yep, this isn't in the way. Push that up there. Yeah, I'm going to try and lift that up and get it on the other one. With you watching, but you can't see because my hands are going to have to get in the way. Tighten the top clip up. Lock it all the way down. And we could go to the bottom clip. bolt what just goes here. So let's stick that in. Pinch that up. Here we go. That's it. Now we can uh, put three litres of coolant in it. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's see how many leaks we've got. Oh, that's bloody tight. It's got a C 
いわもちろんこれ OK しまうでいいかもポロフちょっとプライですねシュー everywhere Slowly glue it up. Can you taste that coolant landfill? Does it taste good? Oh, there's a pigeon. I thought I could hear dripping then. <laughs> Just check. I did put this pipe on. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. I'll show you in a bit. Pipe here, what goes down to the reservoir bottle. Okay, so that's one litre. Try number two. Okay, number three. Better go careful with this one because I don't want it to flush all back up onto the bike. You've got to save some for the reservoir bottle. system done well you didn't think you was going to get away with it that lightly did you Johnny leaking out this pipe thank god it's not the water pump it's just this bloody pipe oh well something else to sort out not as simple as you thought Johnny you see the uh, water beads on top of the uh, water pump Means, which means the water pump gasket has failed. Cut a bit of the pipe off, but oh yeah, that's done it, fixed it. No, it didn't. Of course it didn't. Still dripping. Oh well, could be worse, I suppose. Ow! Got to drain all the system off again. Take this apart, scratch all the paint up, put a new gasket on, rub it down, and repaint it. Fantastic! Yes, it never rains, but it pours. Uh, the new water pump seal is in the post. So just before I go, I'd just like to say thank you to Steve for the cup of coffee and thank you to Derek from the Solo Moto channel, UK. Here's guys. I'm sure all you guys out there know it's not really buying me a cup of coffee. It's all going towards 
things like this. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. I'll see you in another life, brother.